When it comes to exercising, the upper body, just stick to this rule. Low weight, high rep exercises for your upper body. There's two things that this does. This still will build you some muscle, but it's not going to maximize the amount of muscle growth that you could potentially have if you were to give some variety and some range into the different types of muscle building approaches that there are. This is a one and done approach for your upper body, which will strengthen it and give it some endurance and also allow you to burn some extra calories depending on how short of those breaks in between you are doing. So it's fantastic to add upper body to an inverted triangle body workout plan. Do not sleep on it. And on top of that, you just want to have a nice looking back, you know? You don't want to neglect that. You don't want it to just, you know, not be tended to and then like your lower body is going to look nice. Like you want everything to look nice, you know? So all those exercises that you think might make you look bulky and manly, like it won't make you bulky and manly if you're not progressively overloading anyways. So AKA lifting heavier and heavier and heavier week by week by week or making it harder by doing supersets. You don't need to do none of that. Do your upper body, but you don't need to do all that, all right? Have fun with it, all right? Me, personally, I'm having fun with it by practicing my pull-ups, trying to increase the amount of pull-ups that I do, going real high rep until it burns. I've been following my husband's arm days lately. That's been a great time because he's been working on his benches, and I am a girly that has never really bench pressed before so it's pretty interesting so I'm just benching the bar itself nothing much and it's really really rewarding to see how much strength that I am getting week over week so definitely definitely gonna keep going with that okay so the important part which is the lower body you are going to approach the lower body in a way that forces it to grow so working in a rep range that will allow muscle growth to happen, as well as giving it enough volume, but not too much volume, meaning you're not over-exercising your body and not under-exercising your body as well. There is a sweet spot, about two to three days for your lower body on those specific muscles that you want to grow is going to be plenty. And I'd even say two. I started to see some results when I went to two days and just really focused on having an intense. So there's the classic exercises like squats, hip thrusts, deadlifts, right? But for inverted triangle body shaped girth, we want our side to start growing, right? Protrusion, like the shelf and all that stuff, it's nice, you know, think from the side. But hear me out. So to do that, there are specific muscles that need attention that I just was not doing in the past. And as a result, my lower glutes were growing, but my upper glutes and side glutes were not growing as much as they could have. So the gluteus medius, the gluteus minimus, and the TFL muscle. Those are all muscles that are visible on the sides of the body and it's really easy to overwork the gluteus medius and the tfl they are smaller muscles although they are smaller they do lend to the look of so that is why if you are doing any exercises that has to do with progressively overloading those muscles or those muscles getting really sore it's best to do two days a week when you are approaching that if you are not taking it to failure or going super hard or you're not super sore after your workout then three days a week yeah sure but honestly and truly two days a week should suffice and fill in the rest of the days with your active rest days and your upper body days so that you can do calorie control or to make sure that you are taking care of your body in those other ways that are needed so heart health and blood flow recovery for your lower body as well rest days should not actually be 100 percent rest they've got to be active in some way so that blood flow can get into there and start to flush out some of that built up lactic acid that's just sitting inside of your body i've seen a huge difference too when i would do a really hard leg day and then not do anything the next day versus doing a really hard leg day and then the next day i'll go for a brisk walk on the treadmill or i'll go and play a little bit of tennis or i'll do a mobility exercise so like just working on some flexibility and strength in that flexibility i have found that i recover so much faster which means that i am day by day making it easier and quicker 
easier for me to build muscle on the sides of my body. So I will link a workout right here. I'm not gonna get into that video, but if you wanna know the specifics of what exercises to use for your side glutes and how to grow them, check this video out.